I got the Selig shorts, not quite like Selig shorts, and I don't know why I'm talking in a British accent. Because we're in New England. We are? Yes. Oh, is that where we are? Imagine so. Look at that! New <laughs> England! New England! Not the old one, the new one! Oh, look, the lighthouse is on now. Woo! Yeah, because it's getting into that twilight dusk time. The twilight dusk time. Woo! The twilight dusk time. Hello, everybody! Are you confirming one of our acts? Yes, I am. Actually. Oh, we're confirming an act. Very just, nice. You know, flying in, just on the, the opportunity, adapted uh, Just on fire. Wow. <laughs> there are right. things upstairs. All right. Welcome to the Mobro Show Quarantine Showcase number 19. 19? Yes. We're almost out of the teens. Does, does, do you know that that means? What does that, what does that mean? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Do you realize what this means? Take them to the brig and keep them there. Throw the other in the brig and keep him there. What's, what's with those performances? Put him in the brig. And keep him there! <laughs> ah! Butterfly effect. Butterfly effect. Butterfly effect. It's the butterfly effect! Butterfly effect. Butterfly, butterfly effect. effect. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, speaking of cottages and cabins. <laughs> I'm gonna lose their mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Gonna blow your mind. I don't like that. I don't like the way you said mind. Mine should only have one syllable. You put like 13 on that. <laughs> <laughs> Until dawn, a cabin Yikes. up in the mountain with the wind to go. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, well, we are here in New England. We are in where in New England? We are in. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen welcome, welcome to, to the main event. event. Let's get ready to rumble! Well, our voices just had that <laughs> yeah. nice, like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a nice burrito. Yeah, we've got a fun show for you this week because yep. we are here at Maine. Here at Maine. Here at Maine at the, the cottage Maine. that we've gone to for the past several years. This is the Maine Mobro Show episode. This is the Maine Mobro Show episode. <laughs> every episode has been leading up to this one. This Maine evidently. event. Everyone has been like a precursor yes. up to the main The episode. main one. It's going to blow your mains. Mains. <laughs> 
It's gonna blow your mind. Uh, it's gonna, gonna blow the water main. Water main out of the mind. We're gonna uh, find the 49ers in the main. Oh my gosh. All right, well, so we've got some clips and we've got some acts. My body spray? Yeah, my body spray. Body spray. I am not ashamed to admit that I just used some axe body spray. Very nice. Just upstairs. Because, one, in used in moderation, not middle school value volume. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, it. some of it smells decent. Mm -hmm. Second reason being, I got like one of those like little uh, portable carrying case, like toiletry packs. Yep. And it has the Axe Spray little bottle in it, so I was like, why not? Nice. You, you know, mean a fanny pack? Is that what you... Sure, sure. <laughs> I carry it around with me, my toiletries, just in case. <laughs> just, just so I can brush my teeth yeah. before I go. You know, like a little you know, all the man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Anyway, I feel like I'm like sitting way back like yeah. this, this couch. This is, these are actually no. nice couches. I like yeah, these. Yeah, they are very nice. That's why we're lounging on Yes. The, the, the light has gone down some, hasn't it? Yes, it really has. Mm, no one pay attention to the incontinuity of the uh, of the lighting here. There's just a little bit of uh, that's the going on. Yes, we've got our ways. We have our ways of being able to turn the lighting on and off. <laughs> this is a big old light called the sun that we have. Yep, know, yep, yep, yep. We can control. Oh, yeah, that makes me think of uh, whoever was able to do that. I forget who his name is, but he was a very firm... Um, Believer in the nighttime daytime game, and uh, we have an episode from the Mumo. Oh yeah, that that shows oh, this ability to be able to turn it gosh. from night to day, light to day, light to day, light night to day, night to day, night to day, night to light to day. And um, to light to day. it's one of the shorter Mumo episodes. That's right. It's in one of the later seasons. Got it. But uh, we can show you what we're talking about firsthand. That's right. So why don't we? Roll this Mumo episode. Why not? The Moo. Moo presents. Daytime. Nighttime. Daytime. Nighttime. Daytime. Nighttime. Daytime. Nighttime. Daytime. You racking up the electricity bill? Oh, sorry. No time. Sheesh. How many days? No time. Ah! All right, well, and there you go. It's yeah. nighttime, daytime. So, out of context, probably doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but we know the guy who can do that. You should, that's right. You should go back and watch the Moomos. You should. So, I am on the off the cuff going to make an executive decision. <laughs> Scott, if that's right with you, he's giving me the green light. Yep. The the green thingy. The green the thingy. Red thingy moving towards the green thingy. There's a red uh, thingy moving toward the green thingy. What? Red thingy moving toward the green thingy. I think I think we're the green thingy. I think we should show the second episode of the Moo because we oh. showed, showed the first one. Yeah. A, a couple weeks ago. Let's show the first step in the second episode of the Moomo. <laughs> let's do the first one again. Yeah, the first one again. And so, then the second one. And we'll give you a little taste test of the Moomo. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, second helping of the Moomo, really. Yes. Let's show the second episode of the Moomo. Yes. Yeah, I just, I think I'm going to have to break up with Liz tonight. Yeah, uh, we've been dating for about a year now, but I guess... Hey, uh, I'm just gonna feed Snape real quick. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I, I, I'm just not sure where it's going right now. I need a little bit of time. So, I, I'm just, you know, better <coughs> tell her now. What? Problem. Where's the rat? Okay, I've gotta call you back. Yeah, it's emergency. She's here. Do not tell her. Right. Okay. Uh, I'll look for it. <sighs> hey, Liz. Hi, Riley. <laughs> How are you? How was your day? It was good. How was yours? Um, fine. It good. was fine. Good. Yeah, just you know, common, normal, normal yeah. day. Yeah. Good. <laughs> 
Um, you know. Uh, so, um, I uh, have something that I want to tell you. Okay. Um, something that I've been thinking about for a while. Um, you know, you give me a second to uh, collect my thoughts a little bit. Sure. Up, up. Um, so, you know, we've been dating for about a year now, and I've been thinking about this for a, a little while. <coughs> We got a second problem. What? A uh, snake got loose. We now have a rat and a snake loose in the house? Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Um, what were you trying to say? Uh, <laughs> things are a little bit more uh, complicated than realized. So uh, just, um, yeah, um, give me a second to take care of something, okay? okay. Because it's comfortable! Hey, hey, Liz! How's it going? How's it going? I, I got a box on my head! Yes, I can see that! So what do yeah. you put the box on your head? It's fashion, fashionista. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's it's one of those things that... Uh, well, I'm going to see what, what Ryan up to. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no! I do! So goofy. I, great memories. I can't believe that was five years ago we filmed that. Oh my gosh. Conveniently interesting segue. Hey. Uh-huh. Yep. My hair is looking like Nirvana. My hair is looking like Nirvana. Check out Bill Nye so you can see Nirvana. Because there's a song in there called Air Pressure. 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 Pressure has nothing to do with this episode, but we're talking about pressure. Air pressure. Water pressure. Air pressure. Water pressure. Light pressure. Peer pressure. Don't give in. Ben. 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 Never give in. Don't blink either. <laughs> Don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, well, so, um, so we, that was great. That was, oh, the segue. Yeah, the segue. <laughs> great, talk about the segue. Uh, so, um, oh my gosh. that reminds me, 2015. What a time. What a year. What a year. Because we started the Moomo. Yep. It was also the first time we came to this house. That Weeping Angel clip was from 2015. That's right. 2015, fall of 2015, was the first time we came here. It was not the first time we arrived in Maine, however. Yeah, the first time we went to Maine was 11. <laughs> 11 could mean so many different things. <laughs> yes, could it could. mean when we're 11. Could mean Stranger Things 11. Could mean 2011. Could mean 11 seas. Afternoon supper. <laughs> Afternoon tea. <laughs> Dinner supper. <laughs> He's got to know about those. I don't think he does, people. Okay, oh, he doesn't, I don't think he has second, knows about second breakfast. Yeah, Apparently Nick Cage was supposed to play him. Pippin? No. <laughs> I realized I didn't, I didn't clarify. Aragorn? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Nick Cage is a hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, if he was Pippin, that means he would have to sing and serenade. Oh, this behind. <laughs> All the world ahead. There are many paths to tread. Mist and shadow through the edge of night. I, I, when you're trying to sing, isn't it Cage? How do you like? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. He was Denethor. Yeah. Okay. Now we're getting way off. Track. Yeah. This is okay. So segue. The so so eleven. 
2011 was the first time that we, we came to Maine. It was on a smaller cottage level vacation. It was awesome. Yeah. And uh, 2011 was also Will Rogers Follies that we were in Will that summer. Will Rogers Follies was... Nope, that was Fiddler. Oh, wait, no. 11 was... <laughs> what, what are you talking no, about? 2015 was what Fiddler. What Fiddler are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Well, pause for a second. second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hello. <laughs> This is Bob. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hi, Judah. Hey, no, you don't. My son loves to touch my computer, even though I've told him not to, right? You just love to touch the computer because it's so bright and there's lots of buttons. Okay, you can go over there now. All right. So, so 2011. 2011 was... Yes, 2011 was... Amen. Will Rogers Amen. Follies. Amen. Yes, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise. Amen. Hey. Amen. I'm gonna sit like this this time. This no. is unconventional for Mobro shows. Unconventional. Wow, I've Mobro never shows. sat like this in a Mobro show ever. Yeah. All right, so 20, 2011. How many times yeah. are we gonna say 2011, 2011 in this episode? 2011. We're seven. 2011 counter. Yep. Uh, yeah. So that was the first time we came to Maine. It was awesome. It was excellent. Then we took a little break. Then 2015 was the first time we came, or the job doop doop. Second time we came to Maine. First time in this house. This is the sixth time that we've been to Maine. 2011, 2015, 2016, 2017. Skip a year. 2019, 2020. Seventh time because of Nathan Smith's wedding. Ooh, wow, we've been to Maine a lot. This is also where Heather and I got engaged. Hey, Heather, you should come in. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Come in, come in right, here. right here. Who's Heather? Hi, Heather. <laughs> this is Heather. My sister. You you know Heather. You know Heather. And we saw her last week. We, yes. She unboxed the guitar. Yes, my guitar. The guitar that I was playing outside. Yes. Which we still need to introduce that, I think. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, with with, the, with all of us here, how would you feel if we showed just a little bit of our engagement? Oh, that's fine with me. Yeah? Yeah. So, we'll, we'll do that. Nice. Toward the end of this episode, we will do that, but first... Oh, yeah, that's just great. Hey, you know what? You're going to be really, really fascinated with it then. Oh, after I do that. <laughs> he's going right into it. Yeah, he's looking right into it. So, Heather and I got engaged right out there. On the rocks. On the rocks. Ah, where Kinesis Claus was. Yeah. And I didn't even know he was proposing even when he was down on his knees. <laughs> I did not know until I saw the ring. You thought I was just faking it or I, pretending? I thought we were, well, we were both on our knees, so that kind of covered it a little bit. Yeah. But he had just given me a pair of earrings like four days ahead of time. And he's like, it's not what you think it is. So I just assumed when I saw another box that looked like an earring or ring box that it wasn't what I thought it was. Yeah, throw her off the scent. And I, I enlisted this guy and yeah. her sister. He and my sister both planned, well, actually Justin planned, but appeared as yeah. if they had planned like a scavenger hunt just for us and how sweet we were. Blah, 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 blah. So cute. He planned it. The mastermind. And yeah. DL, right. DL came up, flew up, hid under our porch out here, and took photos. Yeah, it was impressive. So he, the video that you're like seeing is, is from a camera that he set up. Yeah. He had like a full ghillie suit, had been there for six days underneath. He had become one with the earth dirt. Well, apparently we also like drove by him while he was getting lops. Yeah, rolls. yeah, on our way up. And I he'd already been here. I'll have to show that photo. Yes. There's a photo of DL on that day. Yes. Take Here it selfie. is. Here it is, right yes. now. Yes, great photo. That is a great photo. Great beard. Yep, great beard. Talking about great beards mm -hmm. and acoustic guitars mm -hmm. and engagements. Sounds a lot like ZZ Top. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, yes. Somehow. So, yeah. Uh, uh, no! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Our miniature giant is taking apart the camera. no, no, no. Nope! I can't do that. No! Can you say amen? Amen! <laughs> amen! 
Amen. Amen. Yeah, take the light. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So what do we need to introduce next? So, so moving forward. I did not get engaged in 2015. Incorrect. I got engaged in 2017. Correct. And then got married in 2018. Correct. Not here. Not here. But we came here after we were married. Not in 2018, though. Not in 2018. <laughs> in 2019. In 2019. We skipped yes, a year. We skipped the year. Skipped year. And then we came again now. That's just great. Yes. So, yes, so yes. now we have a, we have an act by none other than me, moi. Moi, this moi, not this moi. <laughs> not moi, but moi, moi. Probably the sailor the song. Sailor song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Judah, I gave you a light. <laughs> Alright, okay. So this song. This is this is a tale. This is a tale. This is a folk song. An original tale. An original tale. An original wives tale. Did Heather write it? She's not my wife, so well, she must not. This must be my wife's tale. This was written by my future wife. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> somehow, it, it somehow, telepathically <laughs> sent it. To, I bet it was Kinesis Claus. Kinesis freaking Claus did it. Not, not he's not your wife. No, no, it's <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But, <laughs> but somehow he teleport Kinesis to. <laughs> the, the brain waves yeah. of your future wife <laughs> too. Yep, because that's how he, that, what he does. Exactly. Oh my goodness. And this, so this is a tale of old. This exactly. Is a, a legend, myth, a story from the book of time. About what? Who knows? Could be anything. Could have to do with the oceans and waters. Could have to do with Maine. It could have to do with legends. From the deep. I thought it was about mermaid. Well, that too. Okay. Roll the tape. Sailor! What to what, what do with a drunken sailor? What to do with a drunken sailor? A minor, E minor. What to do with it? What would you do? What to do with a drunken Let's start with an A minor. What would you do with a drunken sailor? <laughs> yeah, there you go. What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? Put a little key book, make 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 a little key book, Maybe a little bit later in the evening. Early in the morning. I once heard a tale of a mermaid who swam across the Pacific. She gallivanted on the backs of dolphins and then terrorized the port city. The sailors, they fell to the trap of the siren and then they were foretold. The days of their youth had been drained down the ocean so that they would never live to tell the tale of the maid. Of the deep. Of the maid. Of the deep. They said it was because. And they could not withstand the temptation Once again, but oh, how the tables have turned. 
the tide drew back, and she was forever forgotten. And the What, what a tail. What a tail it was. What a, you could, Mermaids have tails. Feel the, that's true. That's very true. You yeah. could feel the emotion, you know, in, in the sailor's grit. Yeah. You know, the, from the port city down to the depths of the ocean where his watery grave lies. Such an epic sailor's tail. Yes. I got the striped shirt and the beanie little hat. Oh, look at that. The beanie hat. Yeah. I'm like a sailor. The beanie hat. So... Yep. <clears throat> do we still need to introduce Nick's? Yes, we do. Okay. So, speaking of the Git Fiddle. Yeah. Ye old Git Fiddle. We have a dear friend of ours who has submitted another video. Really? Yes. Who is he? I think you know. Oh. I think you know. Oh. We know. I think you, he knows. He knows? You know. You know? You know that he knows, but we don't know, but we do know. I think that we do know. We do know. I think that you think that we know that you know. Does that it involve cheering? Know. Why, yes. Does it Does it involve shouting? What? Oh, the camera. Oh. Does it involve beer steins? Yeah. Uh, yes. 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 Well, does it, does it, uh, does it involve... Oracles. <laughs> Oddly enough, yes. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know who this is. Yes. It's our Oracle von Beerstein. Close. No. Close. No. Cousin. Cousin. Okay. Oracle von Beerstein yes. is a, is a cousin. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Watch the room. Maybe we'll run into him at some point. Yes. All right. Terrifying thought. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> it's a wow! It's a wow. Yep. That light is a wow. Thank you. Thank you. Oh dear. Oh, wow. Sound like a Canadian there. Oh dear. Oh dear. We're close to Canada. Oh, we are dear. close to Canada. So, who do we got? We got Nick Gundy. Nick Gundy! Play that git fiddle. <laughs> he watched you guys intently and then copied you. Sometimes making songs for a living Feels like living to make songs And sometimes I get an uneasy feeling That I'm doing something like home And I just want to be alone Calculate the hours till the power in the well goes dry I'm watching as the stage goes black How long until we all go back being nothing at all, nothing but a spark in someone's eye. Am I giving all that I can give? Am I earning the right to live? By looking in the mirror, there's nothing more sincere than a selfish heart. And some 
times But I got nothing to say I think breaking a heart Can maybe be the start of summer Sometimes I play a couple war games Using a live ammunition So I can fix what I'm missing Most of my songs are true Most of my songs aren't due to some Broken people, so I could write a single. I'm watching as the stage goes black. How long until we all go back to being nothing at all? Nothing but a spark in someone's eye. Back in How long until we all go back to be nothing at all? Nothing but a spark in someone's eye. I give it all that I can give, and I'm earning the right to live. Back looking in the mirror, there's nothing more sincere than selfish heart. He's frozen. <laughs> He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> you look pretty spoopy with that light underneath you. <laughs> Too bad we're not getting footage of this right now. Yes. Let go, let go. The light is very bright, my friend. Light. Star. 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 Look up. Look up. Look up, star. So ready? Nick Gunday! All done. It is 7.44. He goes to bed at 8 every night. Are you all done? He never talks on camera. <laughs> but he talks all the time. He's so funny. He just sat there and was like... All done? Are you stuck? 
All done? I'm done. So, Nick, that was awesome. Very nice. That was so good. So chill. Love the vibes. Great, great cover. Yeah. So awesome. Thank you so much for sending that video. All right. Well, let's turn this light off, shall we? Oh, no, it's daylight. Hey, wait a minute. You know what? I bet I could... <laughs> I bet I can make a daylight. <laughs> so, we have a clip to show. Yes, we do. We have a clip to show. You see something? Yeah. Did you? Did you see that? I, that was that was weird. Wait a minute. Is that a person? It, 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 um, it's either a person or the physical embodiment of an omen, or a or an apparition. Apparition or um, wait, wait a minute. Is, what is he doing? Wait, where did the scepter come from? What scepter? What? I I don't know what's going on, but there, there's there's really like wait. That's that's uh, that's not what I expected him to do. Hmm. What is happening? There's a lot, lots of beard. He's yep. Cloak. Lots of cloak. Lots of cloak. Yes. Cloak beard. Oh, there's look. There's even plaid. What what is this? What is this? I I that, super confused. Like like, like someone. Oh, and then, oh oh oh! Wait a minute. What's what's he doing? Oh. Oh, now, now he's just going all he's over the place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did, did somebody, somebody, what? What's you? All right, I, all right, I don't, I don't know what's, what's going on yeah, with that. It's just a thing out there, but it's like, uh, uh, well, folks, we are being stared down. This is, uh, this is a little terrifying. This is, this is not what we expected not, to. Not gonna lie, it's not. I don't know who this is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what. It's like. Who are you? Yeah, what, what's the what's the idea, sir? Sir, I am the keeper. The keeper? The, the keeper of what? The keeper. The the keeper. The keeper. The keeper. The keeper. The keeper. I that. that, that, that. You don't make any sense. The keeper. The keeper. You have never seen the likes of me before. All right, so we've got the keeper of the keeper here, and I don't know who he is or what he is, but yeah. he's standing right there, staring at us. So, uh, so you're the keeper of the keeper? Is that what it is? What? 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 Who? Apparently, a native of Maine. What? Maybe. Maine B. Maine B. Really? I'm Kinesis Claus. Oh, Kinesis Claus. That's right. Kine yep, that makes sense. Are you wait, wait, wait. Kinesis Claus? Wait a minute. The guy. That's the guy. That's, that's the guy. That's, that's the guy. him? That's the that, guy. Wait, wait, where'd he go? What? He's just gone. He's just disappeared. He's just gone. He's gone. Right. Of course. He's an apparition. What is happening? We're in a cabin. In Maine. In Maine. With a guy. Yep. He's disappearing. He's just... Long beard. Yeah. Cloak. Scepter. Still gone. Yep, still gone. Yeah, I don't know... Anyway, okay. So, um, we, uh, we got to see you play guitar. Yeah. That was, that was entertaining. That was very entertaining. We got to see Nick Gundy play guitar. Yes. Yeah. Also very entertaining. And, uh, so I could say that this, you know, this was a, uh, a main event, main adventure, episode one, um, the, uh, the acoustic guitar edition. Yes. Right? right? That, that's the, I, I could say that. The chill vibe by the ocean. The chill vibe by the ocean good acoustic guitar. But, oh, gosh! <laughs> He's, uh... <laughs> hey! Hey, welcome back, sir! He's just... Welcome back. Hovering right Wel there. Welcome back. Welcome. He's welcome just... to... To the... To the MoPro show. You, apparently... You inside? Apparently when we talk about someone like Kinesis Claus, they actually come to visit us yeah. somehow. We gotta be careful who we talk about. Yep, yep. Um, so, we're, what, we're, what we're, are you doing? Name. I have the perfect idea. You want me to perform a song on your show. Uh, an act? You want to actually... Uh, uh, Dude, I don't know if that's we, 
possible. I don't know if that. Do we do that? Hang on. Hey Scott, would you? No, you. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay. So I, I, I'm I'm curious. What what do you uh, do? Can you problem. give us a sample of what you? Yeah. Maybe we should tryouts auditions. What you do? You had acoustic guitar, right? Right, we, yes, we did do acoustic guitar stuff. He did acoustic guitar stuff. Nick Gunny did acoustic guitar stuff. Yep. And I didn't do acoustic guitar stuff, but Why I can not? play the acoustic guitar. You sure can. Don't test this, man. Not trying to test him. Well, okay, then show us, show us something. Show yeah. us, you know, show what you got. Absolutely. that that's an acoustic guitar and I don't even see a guitar at all. He's yeah. somehow playing the scepter. The scepter. It's, uh, it's honestly a little impressive. I'm a little jealous. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, yeah. What do you think? Should we, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe for next week? Uh, yeah, I think, I think next week. Next yeah. week work. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, um, hey, Kinesis. Kinesis. Kinesis, Kinesis, Kinesis Claus. With authority. Yes. We'll we'll have you uh, probably if you submit to our email, mobroshow at gmail dot com. Get a pen. Then um, Paper. submit something to us, and we'll we'll be able to show it probably next week. Yeah. We'll still be here. Yeah. You'll still be I'm sure hovering creepily outside of our window. Yep. Yep. And and you know. He's kind of one one upping us with the beard there. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you know there is that epic factor to this. Yeah. We we are fans of big beards. Glad to hear it. We are. We are a big fan of big beards. Big fan of big beards. We got a lot of a lot of friends with big beards. Yep. Just like our friend D L. That's right, D L. Nick Valhalla Visions. You all know who you are. You got the big beards. Yep. Big beard gang. I know all of them. Oh, that's great. Apparently, he knows them all. Oh, maybe he's maybe he's in the same gang. Yeah, maybe. There are there's also something living upstairs. Yeah, I'm apparently I keep hearing that. I'm trying to ignore it, but it's really really hard to. It's. Uh, uh, you know what that might be? Oh no. You know what that might be? We're gonna we're gonna okay. thank you, Kinesis Claus, for for that wonderful introduction, and um, we will see you again. Yes. I will do you proud with my wonderful music. But now, we have a clip to show you from the first time that we came to this cabin, this cottage in Maine. Are any of you familiar with Doctor Who? I love Doctor Who. If you're Dr. familiar Who. with Doctor Who, then you're familiar with the Weeping Angels. No. If you're not familiar with Doctor Who and no. thus not familiar with the Weeping Angels, no. they are creatures. No. No. And they... Well, I won't say much about them, but the only thing you really need to know is that they turn into stone when you're looking at them. Well, they're actually living creatures, and they try to get you when you're not looking at them. So, when we came here, we found a stone statue. And boy, it, it was just creepy because, well, I'll, well, you'll be able to see where we found it. But it was kind of just waiting there, and if you know anything about Weeping Angels, they, um, they kind of just... They hide their faces from you until you're not looking, and then they start to turn toward you. And then when you look at them again, they hide their face again. It's very terrifying. Yep, but we found one. And um, thus, the found footage that you're about to see is what you're about to see. Roll the tape. Hi. Hey there. So, uh, what you doing? Mm, hiding. <laughs> yeah. Hiding. Uh huh. You should. Uh, we should. We should show Ben what we found. Mm mm. mm -mm. Yeah. Mm mm. mm. No. Nope. Nope. I think nope. we should. Let's do it. 
We gotta show it to him. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, so, anyway, so, so we're here at Maine, and um, we are in our cottage in Maine. I came, we were looking through the house and I came and opened this door. Of course, the creepy closet. Yeah, creepy closet. Okay. Yeah. See, there's nothing inside, right? Right, not until I actually look closer and Long. look at what's there. Um, that was there. I didn't put that there. I didn't put that there. That was there. That's just, that's just freaky. Yeah, yeah okay, so I'm gonna... <laughs> Let's just keep, leave it in there. Close that door. I'm just gonna leave it in there. Leave it in there. We'll go upstairs, cry ourselves to sleep. <laughs> just stay, stay up on this floor. <laughs> just stay up on this floor. And, uh, we're not going... We're not going down there, not open. Not yeah, let's there. let's go down this really dark, creepy hallway Except instead. I'm gonna put this back on the uh, table, but I don't want to go down there. It's close to it. Nope. Too close. Nope. We should just put it back here. No, not the creepy hallway. No. Um. Yeah. So. So. Mm, yeah, we found one of these. One of these. One of these. Yep. 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 And there you so, have it. Ben. If you come to Maine, <laughs> or if you're um, staying at a vacation place or something, check the closet for stone statues. <laughs> Terrifying. This light is very bright. Yes. It's very, very, oh my gosh, it's just so bright. So bright! It is suddenly daylight, now it's not. Alrighty, woo! So, this pillow. Oh, mm -hmm. I've been pillowed. Right, entertain them while I'm putting the baby to bed. Okay. So. Well. It seems that I have been tasked with entertaining you as the other Mobro is putting his son, Judah, to sleep. So, it's time for a story. This story is um, it's about a lizard named Larry. Larry the Lizard, see, he lived a pretty normal life. The problem with Larry was he was a little bit too large for his house. He purchased a house recently on Main Street. Main Street is a wonderful place, a place full of mom and pop shops, a place that lives on a hill. Exactly. This hill caused an uneven balance in the ground forces at work in Larry's house, therefore shrinking it down to size. Larry, on the other hand, did not shrink with it. So Larry, one day, he was out running errands, groceries, gasoline, the marketplace, Sir Ulrich von Lichtenstein's pub, and the like. Then, upon returning home, he seemed uh, perplexed. The juxtaposition of his size with the current size of his house seemed to throw him askew. He said to himself, hmm, then proceeded on. He realized he would need to find a new abode sometime in the near future. Otherwise, he would be sleeping in the gutters. So Larry went to his local real estate agent, Lemmy. Larry talked to Lemmy and said, let me have a minute of your time, Lemmy. Lemmy said, Larry, you know I cannot do such a thing. Larry said, but why? You're my friend. And Larry said, because I am but a koala bear. And Larry said, but that makes no difference to me. You're my friend. And Larry thought about this. And he said, you know what? I can help you, Larry. And Larry presumably continued his lizard-like nature and gave the koala bear a hug. So Larry purchased said new house from koala bear Lemmy. And Larry realized he would have to move out of Main Street and move to Arizona. 
because houses are bigger in Arizona. Therefore, he packed all of his belongings into his trailer to Arizona. He lived in his new house, his new abode, until the dawn of the rising sun of the next day. And then he lived happily ever after, 3,000 miles away. Did you see what I see? Hey, you! Somebody's sneezing in my house, and it's not me. Just got a message. Don't look behind you. M here conniption clause oh kinesis clause <clears throat> I'm going crazy I am going crazy well I think, I think we have one more act. And this act is a dear friend of mine. Ah, oh, you're back. <clears throat> You'll never believe what happened when you were gone. What happened? Absolutely nothing. Good. So the next act we have is a dear, dear friend of mine, Richie Pete. The Lionhearted. Richie Pete. I am so, so excited to feature another one of his songs this week, because we had his week, his week, his song, a song. Yep. Speaking is my prior engagement. Yes. We had one of his songs a few weeks ago, and it was incredible. Good. And uh, it was a cover, an Emery cover, mm -hmm. which is a great band. This is an original, the Lionhearted original. This song is called Parable of Smoke. Ooh. And it is so good. I love this song. So, I am stoked, to say the least. Very nice. I have gotten to see this done live, good. and this was incredible. Yep. So, this is a very cool video that Richie has put together to his song, Parable of Smoke. Very good.
so good. Two I, thumbs up to that. Yeah. I love that song. I love Richie. Like, all those people in that video mean so much to me. Again, it's like, I miss everybody. Oh. And that song is so good. The first time I heard that song, I remember getting chills hearing it. I was just like, what is happening? This is so epic. That That is an awesome song, especially being a, an original song. Yeah. That just, that's really good. And big shout out to Chris Bernstorff. My hair looks like a bob. <laughs> Chris Bobstorff. <laughs> <laughs> look, Heather, doesn't my hair look like it a does. <laughs> It looks like a bob. Let's try to fix this. I'm trying to go for that Lord of the Rings swoop look again. Lord of the Rings swoop look. So, big shout out to Chris Bernstorff. Yes. <laughs> One of my closest friends in the beginning of that. Um, don't worry, you're my closest friend. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's good. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> That's very good to know, especially since I am still have weeping angels after me. In the beginning of the video, Chris was featured both in visual and audio. I got to be at Chris's wedding, one of the groomsmen. That was awesome. Yeah. That was not in Maine. We should bring Heather over for a second again. It was in Michigan. Heather, you should come over for a second again. She gave me the weirdest look. She was like, She's like, why are you, you doing this? So Heather also knows Chris Burns. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He was a senior when I was a freshman in high school. I went to the same high school. Look at that. What the heck? I did not meet Chris until 2012. Which was a long time ago, but... And I didn't meet her until 2016. Right. And they had... Was it Chris's dad as a uh, teacher? He was a teacher yeah. at the school, yeah. Wow. It's insane. And, and what are the odds of that? Small Crazy world. small world. Yeah. And what are the odds that the weeping angel would move every single time we've come back here? That, I swear, that those statue... Those are pretty low, because those things are freaky. That statue was in the closet. Yep. And then, next time we came... It was elsewhere. It was like out in the yard. And then when we came again, it was in the bushes. Yeah. And now we came again, and it is on its side on the rocks. On the rocks. <laughs> on the rocks. <laughs> we have a weeping angel on the rocks, and I'll take a canaceous claws on the rocks. Yes, because canaceous claws. Canaceous claws. Canaceous claws. Canaceous claws was on the rocks. We've got all kinds of accents in New England. You just drank my coffee. Well, I put an Oreo in it first. Yeah. Not this one. Everyone remember that? Yeah. You remember that? Good. Anybody with some coffee? Here. Hey, but... <laughs> now I got a soggy Oreo in my now filled cup of coffee. I don't know why I'm progressively getting more and more New York and more horse than ever before. The only thing worse than betting on a dead horse is riding one. That's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> Luke! Luke, get back here! Luke! I Luke, am your father! I am your father! <laughs> I am your father! I also am your cannon father! I am your what? <laughs> I don't want to be no one's cannon father! <laughs> I have a soggy Oreo in my coffee. I'm ticked off. I'm legit ticked off. I don't want cookies and cream in my Oreo, my coffee. Inception. Cookies and cream in my Oreo, in my coffee. You put the Oreo in my coffee. Why? I remember that. I, I've never forgotten that. I lose sleep over that. Put a freaking Oreo in my coffee. <laughs> my coffee. Yep. New York's just below. We're in New England. Why are you putting an Oreo in my coffee now? Because Oreos are great. Yeah, but not in your coffee. They get all soggy. Are it's you kidding like me? Mud. Oreos like, can go no. anywhere. <laughs> they can be in cereal. They can be in your you peanut can put them in sandwich. You can, sandwich. What you call it? You can call it in here. And then it can what also you go be with your Twizzlers. Then you put it on the top of a yeah, pizza pie. Yeah. Instead of pepperoni, you put the Oreo, you put the Oreo put like that, on the yeah, pizza. You're gonna eat and then if you, you put, put the Oreos the coffee, with your cotton candy, the same again. it's kind of like putting actually, cream in there, but you put the crumbs in it's like just like cotton pie candy. Thing. It's not just because melting if you put it in the oven, it's gonna cook. And then you can make lasagna. Yeah, the bread pizza the other day. But it's still tasty, because that's beside the point. Lasagna, because the Oreo is me. Cereal is also a good place to put Oreos. Because the Oreo, they have cookie crisps. 
put cookie them crisp is chocolate like chip cookies. The bottom, and, and you can put Oreos in that. And then you just and have you a bunch more sugar. Because, because that's then, it. Then, then what? <laughs> you put Oreos in my coffee. I did. I yeah. put Oreos in your yeah. coffee. You put them in the coffee and then they make me add them. I put Oreos in your coffee, in coffee and my hair is swoopy. Yeah. It's swoopy like Joey from Friends. Look at that. Swoopy Look at hair. That. Yeah. Swoopy, swoopy hair coming at you with the coffee and the Oreos. Right. Who knew that Joey from Friends would be the guy in Lost in Space? Who knew? Joey didn't know. Nope. Nope. But did you know? Looks like he finally landed that role. He did. Yep. Last one to kill the bad guy buys the beer. Yep. Okay, last one to kill a bad guy buys the beer. 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 Yeah. Bob and Bill. Bob and beer. beer. Bob and Bob and Beer. Bob and Beer. Bob and Beer. I wonder what's their last name. Bob and Beer. Is their last name Beer? Beer. Probably Bob Beer and Bill Beer. <laughs> If that was their last name, then that would be a mile marker in history. That would make a I, lot of sense. I don't ever remember there being a last name. They're kind of like Bob, Bob, and Bill, Bill. Kind of like Guy from Galaxy But Quest. they're also brothers, so I don't know how they could be Bob, Bob, I think Bob anybody and Bill. who doesn't have a last name in the literatures, last name is Beer. Yep, that's we got right. Guy Beer. Or Bananas. We got Bob Beer. We got Bill Beer. Or Bananas. And Pete Beer. Pete Beer. Kind of like in chemistry. We're talking a lot about beer. If you don't put the, uh, the, 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 the what's the Jake? The 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 uh, lime and coconut. Uh, yeah, if you don't put the lime and the coconut, you get bananas. If you don't, if you don't, uh, I'm just gonna stop talking now. Main Adventure 1, Part 1 yeah. done, and 1 and 2, and whatever second part's coming, I don't know, I guess that's going to be coming up next week, so what do you yeah. think? Yeah, that's going to be good. Oh, look, there's lasagna and all kinds of stuff here. Oh, look, there's an Oreo in the lasagna. You put it in the lasagna. Yes, I did. You put it in my coffee, then you put it in the lasagna. Because I like mac and cheese. Yeah, apparently you like Oreos, too.